Hey, Gib! Package just came in. It's got my mom's name on it. I wonder what it could be. I'm so excited because I think I know, but I ordered, I have other orders and other important things coming in, so I'm not sure. We'll review it anyways. Hey, guess what I saw today, Tate? A picture about your mom on somebody's shirt. I saw this girl, she was wearing a shirt, and it says, real women don't have balls. And when I was making love to your mom last night, Tate, she has balls, dude. Loser. Jimmy, I think this is my red lighter, though. Tate. It's hard to open because I don't have a knife. Mom doesn't let me have a knife. I cut my finger last year really bad and almost fell off because I didn't tell her because I was scared she would take my knife privileges away. It got infected and my finger almost fell off. I still have my finger on. I was right! Carbine. They use AR-15 carbines in the military, Tate. Are you sure you want to run your lip around here, dude? Because I'm a marksman and an expert aim. The box smells like normal boxes do. It doesn't have a special smell. But it is a cute box. If you look at it, it has really nice design work. And the marketing team of Daisy is top notch. And that's why I typically only buy Daisy BB guns. Because the marketing team, they really take pride in the packaging. They shoot pretty well as well. I don't have a knife, so it's going to probably get torn up. Oh, yeah. And there's a picture of the BB gun on the back. has words and stuff, but I haven't ever read the words, and I'm not about to try to read the words while I'm doing the review. You know what I mean? It would be a waste of time, and people won't watch it as much. Too many words on there. Anyway, that's what I said. The marketing team's really good. They put a lot of descriptions. I'm going to keep this box. Usually I don't keep boxes. This one I'm going to keep. Oh my god, dude. Sick. I'm going to tell you right now, it looks better than you would think inside of this box. When you open the box, this is what it looks like. But there's other stuff on the side, paperwork, so I can register it to the FCA. Choking instructions, do not swallow this, you won't be able to, dude. I don't even know what those are in there. They put this on the tip, that way dirt and stuff doesn't get in the tip of your gun and make it jam. I've seen it happen in Vietnam on a movie. I've seen it happen on that movie Platoon with Charlie Sheen, before Charlie Sheen started to drink tiger's blood. That was back in the day. It smells normal. Oh look, they zip tied it. They zip tied it. What kind of loser would zip tie this, dude? I'm going to try to just work around the zip tie and leave it on because I don't want to edit this film. So I don't know how. And if I go get scissors now, everyone will be like, well, he's not even doing his film on the film. I might as well just leave. Oh, the zip tie came off, see? Holy crap, I can tell you one thing. It smells really good. Red Riders are not only a cowboy's favorite gun, but back in the western times, Indians used them too. That's why this is on there. It's a dedication. It's kind of like how kids used to put those playing cards on the spoke of their bicycle, so whenever the wheel turned, the card hit it and it made a 
sound. Anyways, this has engraving on it. You guys know who play Red Dead Redemption? The engraving costs more than the guns themselves, usually. It's not an easy task. You have to have a wood burner or a knife. This is where you load it. I don't know how it works yet. Oh, it snaps open. This doesn't feel small at all. I, this must be the adult Red Rider, guys. It didn't shoot. I must not have anything in it. It must not be cocked yet. It would have shot, but it's on safety. It has a safety right here. Amidextrous. It didn't shoot anything out. I didn't check to see if it was loaded. If you guys ever shoot a real gun, that's not your gun. My mom and dad told me a long time ago, they don't buy me guns that have bullets, but they said if your friends ever let you play with a gun, before you shoot it in the sky like you always like to do, you make sure to see if there's a bullet inside of it or not. Otherwise it could hurt somebody. Pretty much my favorite gun I've had. It's heavy too. If you were gonna get in a fight with somebody and you didn't kill them in the first couple shots and they closed the distance, you could butt hit them in the face with this thing and it would be like hitting them in the head with a baseball bat. I swear to God. Lever action though, boys. I'm a pony boy. I'm a pony boy. Anyways, Jim, hurry your butt up. Otherwise, all these babies are gonna be gone. I only got 6,000 of them.